Saturday about 7 o'clock. We're getting close to it. I got a bunch of flies to test, so let's head down to the pond and see what the fish are doing. Got the buggy running good. First up to be tested. First thing I gotta do is take my little box turtle and let him go out here. The dog dug him up. So we'll just put him over here and let him live his life without dogs chewing on him. I ran over a box turtle with a lawnmower last year. That hurt my heart, man. Hurt my heart. I love turtles. Especially box turtles. I've got a lot of stories about box turtles. The neighbors had a little red hound dog that would pick those things up every time we went down to the creek. <laughs> One time we went hunting them, we had 40 of them in the backyard. <laughs> and they all just propagated out in the neighborhood. <laughs> Nobody knows what happened to them. There are my flies. I got a bunch. Put them in a nice little container. See, I got all kinds of these things. I tied up every one of these today. Well, I started one of them last night. That one on the big hair bug. But I think I'm going to go ahead and change my leader. Put a new stretch of 10-pound test line on it. Maybe even double it up for this first test. Because these are made to be weedless. And I'm sure hoping they are. Because I want to work these weeds on top of them. I haven't been able to do it because of the... And that wind's coming out of the north. What the heck? Well, that's the front coming. So the front's here. Oh, I'll bet that ruins the vision. Maybe. Who knows? All right, we'll see. Six little bugs. Two big hair bugs. Zonker, deceiver type hair bug. Made to be weedless. Made to run hook up, hopefully. We'll see what this one does. Even if they don't run hook up, as long as they scoot over top of the weeds, uh, I'll get the action I want out of them. These bass that are up underneath these weeds, boy, they, they are waiting for something to come across them weeds, and they're going to kill these things. Guess what? It works. I just had a bass grab it right out of that weeds. This is going to be a game changer, and this thing is a big old fluffy fly. Big old giant size head on it. That was a decent fish too. I'm telling you, this is gonna be the game changer. I've been wanting something that I can do. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> That's a good fish too. Oh yeah. And when these fish come after it, that's something. Because these fish are smart. <laughs> See if he comes to it out in the middle of nowhere. Come on, do it again, fish. It's a big fish, too. Now I just got to mind my manners and watch my technique real close. Something coming through that weed like that, they just cannot stand it. And it's working. It is working great. All right, we got something here. Of course, nothing works with the filamentous algae. Boom. That was a big fish. A three pound fish, probably. Well, this thing looks luscious coming through the water, man. I mean, it is swimming. Looks like a giant size. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see a fish. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Ah, that didn't take long. Oh boy, folks. I got something here. <laughs> I've been trying to develop something like this for years. I've gone partially many times. Partially the way there many, many, many times. Oh, fish, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. That's only doubled up six pound test. Look at that. Oh, oh man, fishy, fishy. 
thanks for being the first volunteer and thanks for coming back and hitting it two more times <laughs> uh, ooh, lordy we got something well, it don't look like much of nothing when it's all messed up eh, two and a half pound fish thanks for being the first volunteer bassy <laughs> these fish are in trouble now man <laughs> you don't know how happy that makes me to finally get a combination of materials together it is nearly 100 percent weedless but it still doesn't miss the fish that is so important you can see it better a little light on it. It's deer hair, bucktail, zonker strip, some spinnerbait skirts just to give it a little more action. It's two colors of zonker. I got a black and a tan underneath. It looks great in the water. This thing is gonna work. Let's see who else might want to take a whack at it. That's about a five inch fly. Get it up. Get it up. Come on. Now, in the other pond, they don't have that filamentous. At least not like they have it in this one. The neighbor's pond. Because the primrose, that's what this thing is made for. Go right over the primrose, cattails, lily pads. Throw it right in the middle of that stuff. And just start stripping it through. Make a little noise, they'll come and get it. Oh, it's so cool. And I'm just slapping that water with this fly too. I'm not making any kind of prettiness. No pretty casting. Drag it right through there. It comes out relatively clean and ready to go again. Boom. That filamentous algae ain't doing me no favors. That stuff's like angel hair. Nasty, nasty, nasty. All right, I saw something big move. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well, it isn't big. <laughs> That's good, though. That's good. That little old fish. Wow, he got that fly completely in his mouth. <laughs> That's a little fish, but boy, he went after that fly. Now he's covering grass seed. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. A couple of fish in here. Boom, right in that stuff. Come on. Who's your home? Who's your home? Who's your home? Oh, I caught it this time. Yeah, let me see. How did we catch it? Did we catch it on the front of the fly? Yeah, I think we did. Caught it on the front of the fly, not the hook. Hell, I can't even see my fly. No, it got on the hook. No, yeah, sure did. It didn't didn't do its job the way it's supposed to. Of course, that crap is thick. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, a little better fish. Wow, this hookup is excellent. They are really chomping this thing. Yeah, that's the best I've done on bass in this pond in a long while. Nice, healthy fish. Look at there. Got him right in the top of the jaw. Perfect hookup. How about that? Beautiful fishy fishy. He got caught by the new creation. I don't think it really even matters if it's running hook up or not. That hook is well protected. That's the spot I was shooting for. Come on. There he is. Oh, missed him again. That rascal, come on, try it one more time. Come on. I double dog dare you. Come on. Try it again. Vicious fish. I have not had anything work this well in this pond in years. I've tried small, big, flash, no flash, but I haven't gone in this direction this far. Big old hair bug fly. Right now with a filamentous head. That hook's picking up a little bit of this stuff, but not much. It is working like a champ. 
There he is. There's that number four already. I believe that is number four. Another nice little healthy fish. Little buck bass. Pond's full of them, just that size. It's not the easiest fly to work, but it seems to be the one that works the best. So it's definitely worth the effort. This thing's working like a miracle. That looks like a big old polywog or a water dog or something. Salamander type. And I'll bet I do not have to weight these things. And the next one I have, I got two of these things with me. The next one I have is less deer hair and more rabbit strip. I palmered the rabbit strip on top of that shaft. I'm using some uh, deer hair, bucktail, gray bucktail to uh, make it weedless. Let's see how it operates. It's going to have a very different head. Yeah, I think I need to do one of these in this similar manner, but no extra weight. This thing has some lead in it. There's got to be something hanging out around these cattails. Just had a just had a little bass come up and take a look at it. Came out of a hole right in there somewhere. Oh, he turned away from it. <laughs> Here's a little one. I ain't worried about him. If you don't want to play, that's fine. Wonder if that barometer's dropping or rising real fast. I think it's a low pressure system, so it's probably dropping. That would certainly turn him off. Oh, there he is. Oh, missed him. Then hang on to him. See if he'll take it twice. Come on, fish. Oh, son of a gun. I had a big one on. I had a big one. Dang it. I didn't get the hook set. He dove in the weeds and left me. He left me here all alone. <laughs> It's weedless only to a point. <laughs> it can't tell us a fly in there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I didn't even feel that fish pick it up. I didn't see it or nothing. I turned the camera on because I thought it was a good spot. And guess what? It was. Another nice little buck bass. Probably sitting on a bed or looking to get dinner. There he is, buddy. Good going. So I'll be getting some blow-ups in here somewhere. Let's see this. This fly is holding together pretty well. It looks like a mess, but it's sure working. I'll turn that camera off. I'll get a bite. That was probably a smaller bass, but he was sure coming after it. Right down the middle of this stuff. There we go. There he is. <laughs> that's what I need. That's what I built this fly for. So I can go right over top of that stuff and get these bass that are hanging out in it. And I do expect that one of these bass is going to be a big one. Because they all do it. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Man, this thing is working like a champ. I didn't bring my little dog or my big dog because they tend to ruin my fishing. Every time I turn that camera off, a fish lays into it. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, good fish. I think. I got a hook set on him. I don't know how good. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice one. Keep that head up. Keep him out of Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that one. About the same size as that first one I caught. Look at that fishy, fishy. Big old fat mouth. Fat bass. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that old fly. Dude. Fatty, fatty. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. That one's been eating pellets. There he is. There he is. Uh oh. Oh, he may not be there anymore. He may not be on there anymore. He dove with it. Oh, who's that? He left me. He left me. He was on there for a second. Then he left it in the weeds. Knotted it up. 
keep them up out of the weeds.